There's AJ. Yeah, AJ's oh. right up front. <laughs> Do you know the sad thing? The audio didn't record for the video. Upstairs? What? Oh, no. Are you serious? Yeah. What's going on, guys? How are you? Yeah. So, Justin, how did it feel? I'm exhausted. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Do I need to hold this up? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> did you enjoy the show? Yes. Yeah? Did you have lots of fun? You sure? Are you tired? No. I am. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a pizza. What kind are you going to get? Not Domino's, because Domino sucks. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Something in my room. I'm going to set the, the pizza on my belly and enjoy it with my wife. With pineapple on top of it? Absolutely not. No pineapple <laughs> on pizza, guys. Come on. You know that. Pineapple's good on pizza. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're Maybe the, for you. The Young Bucks called you and Cody one of the best tag teams they've ever faced. Where are you going here in AEW next? Do you want to continue to tag, or you have other expectations for yourself as I've a singles competitor? I've always been a uh, singles player, but I'm also good at in tag teams. And to, to go out there tonight with my brother, you know, the brotherhood back together again was a special moment. Much like Double or Nothing was a special moment. The most special moment for me um, tonight was, you know, it was hot. I'm 50. I went out there, and I think I put on a good show. Were you not entertained? I was very entertained. Okay, good. Good. Um, I don't know. We're going to see where it goes here in a couple weeks. Maybe have some talks. Maybe do some thinking. I want to get into acting a little bit, but I found a new passion. You know, I found a new passion, and that's AEW. And it's a lot of fun because you walk around here and you see all these guys in the back who are different than the ones that I'm used to. And everybody is, yes, hey, 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 you know, happy, hungry, passionate about, you know, AEW succeeding, because they are. Every match, we just step it up, step it up, step it up. And it is, we are actually changing the business. And it's a revolution, and it's exciting to be a part of this. And it shows on all of their faces, and they are excited. Dustin. And when you get excited, you go out and you perform the best you can, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Um, what get do your you cue cards out. There you go. What was the biggest surprise in the entire show? Probably Chris Jericho. That surprised me. I didn't even know he was here today. And then he had a mask on or something. And I saw it. I said, what is that? Who is that? Yeah, that was surprising. What about you? I don't know everything. Everything? It was a good show, wasn't it? Yep. It was a long show, but it was a very good show, and I know it was very hot out there. I thought I was going to die in the suit. It's soft and wet. <laughs> I'm sore. Gross. But I had fun, so, you know, that's it. Dustin, I think you opened a lot of people's eyes at Double or Nothing uh, and made, made them realize the kind of wrestler that you can be. What was the biggest personal change for you after that match? When I was at the other company, I felt like I lost my passion a little bit, you know, because you're sitting in the back and you have so much to offer the business because you've been in it all your life and that's what you do good. And that they wouldn't give me the opportunity to go out there and shine. So it's very frustrating, right? So I get out of Papillon, I like to say. I, I get out of prison and I'm free and I can do what I want to do. And that call, you know, from Cody happened, put it together, double or nothing. I trained my butt off for that match. I mean, this was the most important thing that I would ever do in my 31 years in the business. And it was. And from the start to the finish, that match was, to me, perfection. I mean, we could actually do no wrong. They were there with everything. The story we told in two promos leading up to that match is so old school, it, t it takes you back to 1986 or 19, you know, between 86 and 90, 91. And it's so, that's me, that's me. I love to tell stories. I love to entertain that way. I like to let the people see that I'm actually almost dying out there. But then you see the baby face makes that comeback, you know, and it's like, oh God, here we go. And, and I get you invested and that's what I do good. And I love that psychology. From that match, it was, it was like, at the end of that, man, I was on cloud nine for at least three weeks. I mean, I felt good. I felt good, and rightfully so, I think, because yeah. I did good at 50 years old, and Cody's was much younger, but he gave me that opportunity. Tony Khan gave me that opportunity, and I came in, and I nailed it, and it, 
was fun, and I'm glad to go out there again today in the 100 degree humidity and uh, go out there and sweat <laughs> like crazy and do it again, but with my brother this time. It was very, very special for me. Uh, it was special last month, you know, or at Double or Nothing, but tonight it was just like two things with my brother, and tonight was a main event. It was very, very special for me, man, and it's, it hadn't sunk in yet, so I'm still kind of like on the, on the high. Dustin, how did you feel yes, about working with like the Young Bucks and how their different style was? You were talking about that on uh, the horn with Stu Myers earlier and stuff. You know, up, that. up there with, you know, when I was with the other company and I'd seen them around, you know, and I, they're very impressive. They do some unbelievable stuff, unreal stuff in that ring. And it's like, holy moly, now I have to wrestle these guys and they do all this stuff. And I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, like, God, do I have it in me? You know, I'm 50 years old. Even though it's just a number, fifty is a, the new thirty or whatever, oh, yeah. whatever yeah. saying goes. But I felt good about it. But I was nervous because I wanted to be there for everything for them because I still had something to prove that I can hang with the, the kids because they are much younger than me. And I think I did a good job tonight. They seem to be pretty pleased. Tony's pleased. Everybody was pleased. I hope the fans were pleased. Um, I mean, that's all I can ask for. It's. You've been in so many locker rooms over the years. You know, yeah. you talked about it before. Yeah. Um, as AEW prepares to premiere their show weekly, um, yeah. what are some things that you think they should do and stay the course to maintain success long term? Well, this is my second show, so it's kind of we're learning on the go. You know what I'm saying? And to see Cody, the way he runs things in the back is very impressive, and it reminds me of my dad, the way he used to do with WCW the way he handled stuff, the way he had his hands in everything and was working his butt off today, the whole day, man, and last night. They, we were up till three o'clock talking. And it's just like, he never sleeps. And you know, I worry about him because he needs to sleep. But right now, man, he's got, he's at the helm and he's trying to give the fans this, this revolution and this change in the business that is way overdue and, and it's time. And so we have to go all out. 100 miles an hour and make this thing happen. And I think when TV gets here, it's going to be impressive. As long as we put on a good first TV, they're going to come back. And a good second one and a good third one. We just keep going. We're more rested because we work once a week, which is great. You don't do that up there. I mean, it's crazy, the scheduling that I've been on for the last 30 years. It's unbelievable. So this is its an exciting time because you have time for your body to recoup and go on to the next thing, whatever the storyline may be. So it's exciting, it's gonna be good. Dustin, whose yes, idea was it to do a little old school with Ole Dean Anderson style, Minnesota Wrecking Crew in the match? What did we do? Working that the was, arm, working the arm. That's, that's me though, I'll work the arm because I'm blowed up, I'm tired. I got him, I got him, you know, he's not going anywhere. And then when I get a little tired from doing that, I'll tag Cody in. And he come in and he'll stomp a mud hole in him and. Run him, run him around a little bit, and I get in, I'll do the same thing. And I'll just hold him down there for a minute. Oh, I'm breathing hard. Let me get my brother back in. That's the, that's, that's the best thing about tags, you know? It's 50-50, so it's like, when I get tired, here, come on, coach. <laughs> and he knows. What does it do for your confidence? Because you said it yourself. You're in there with a bunch of young guys, and you're a little older, but you, you held your own more, and with more than, than some. So, I mean, you said you want to get into acting, but... How far do you see this ride going here in Ollie Wrestling as far as an in-ring performer? Well, Double or Nothing was supposed to be actually really, truly one last ride for me. And that turned into two. So as long as I can still have my dreams, you know, of, of being and becoming an actor, which I've already lined up for a few movies, do those, maybe come in and do some stuff with the kids here because it feels good. I have been rejuvenated and it's, uh, I mean, geez, it's like I could go another year or two years, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, though. So, I have a lot to think about. There's some stuff that's been offered, so it's, let me think about it, you know? I'll let the world know, but I'm having fun, and I'm enjoying the ride right now. One more? Um, last, last one, guys. Last one. Sonny Kiss has said you were a big influence on him. He finally made his debut tonight. What do you think of Sonny and how the fans are taking to him? You know, I like Sonny, and I think I can show him a lot of stuff because of the stuff I used to do. Exactly. And I went up to him, and he came in our room, and he was just nervous, you know? And I, said, I put my arm around him. I said, Sonny, just relax, you know? You're nervous, and when you're nervous, that means you care. When you stop being nervous, 
nervous. Like you will not care anymore. You are nervous, so you're gonna go out there and you're gonna do fine. And you just gotta pep talk, talk them a little bit up, you know, and get them calmed down and start going through your things slowly. And he he'll get it, you know, in time, just as we all do. It takes time to build build a character. It doesn't happen overnight. And he'll find his his thing, his way, and he'll skyrocket because I, I see some good things with him. Thank you guys. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank, you. thank you guys very much. AJ, it was a pleasure. Please tell me that you were telling a story about that camera. Um, the audio. I haven't hooked it up to a computer yet, but I can't hear it on here. So Do you want to do another one? I will do whatever you want. Okay. Um, if it doesn't work on the computer, well, will you be in Chicago? I will not be in Chicago as of right now because okay. the show is already booked and I have another Dragon Con or something I gotta do. I hope they you guys. Okay, guys? Thank, Thank you. you. See you later. Thank you, Thanks, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank